Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're looking at some easy transitions that you can use in Premiere Pro. Let's go. How is it going guys? And welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Hey everybody, how's it going? Dave here. I hope everybody's doing really well. Today I'm looking at some transitions you can use in your videos to make them a bit more interesting. Most of the time, I mean 90% of the time, we use J cuts, L cuts, and just straight cuts. But if you wanna make your videos and music videos a bit more interesting, these might be for you. I'm gonna be using some effects built in Adobe Premiere Pro and then some assets from Envato Elements. Let's go. Now the first one's super easy. I'm gonna take these two clips I've got right here. And these are super easy because they're asset based. So I'm gonna download some assets from Envato Elements. And these are liquid transitions. And it gives us some Mogart files right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my essential graphics select all my more files and drop them in there and these are full screen transitions so you don't really have to worry about your actual footage they're transitions that cover the full screen and they just work super easy and Vato elements have got like a bunch of these on the website you can use next we're going to look at another one that is going to affect our footage using chromatic aberration so i'm going to take an adjustment layer i'm going to move it four frames to the left and then right from where the cut is there, I'm gonna move the playhead four frames to the right. Make a chop right there. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and look for my chromatic aberration effect. Drag that onto the adjustment layer. And as you can see, it creates this RGB split kind of effect. So all I need to do is animate that. So I'm gonna to go to the beginning of the adjustment layer. I'm gonna keyframe red, green, and blue. I'm gonna make sure these are all on zero to start off with. And then move two frames, change these around a bit, make it as wacky as you want. The only thing you need to be careful of is when you come to the end, you need to make sure all these are zero. So you just need to make sure it ends on being back to normal, if that makes sense. So you get something like this. Now the next one is like a VHS transition. Now with this one, I'm gonna use an asset from Envato Elements. As you can see, it's got like this VHS effect. It moves around. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag it here, kinda keep it around three or four frames. I'm gonna select the footage, go to my effects control and change the blending mode to screen. Now this automatically, yeah, it creates a bit of a glitch effect. That's cool. But there's nothing that's happening to the actual footage. So to me, it's not as convincing. So let's work on that. First of all, we're gonna take an adjustment layer and put it right here, cut it to the length of the actual transition. I'm gonna to go to my effects and look for an effect called offset. Drag that on and right here, I'm gonna start messing around with these values. I'm gonna keyframe the shift to center. So as a VHS transition comes into play, it moves the footage as well. So I'm just gonna go frame by frame and it moves down there. I'm just gonna move it down a tiny bit. It moves again, move it down again, move it down a bit more and you get something like this. So the actual overlay and the footage match up a bit more. The next one is a bit of a glitch effect. Now it's pretty much based on the same theory. So we're gonna offset the footage. We're gonna use a different asset on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this glitch overlay I found on Envato Elements. We're gonna go up to our effects control, change that to screen. So we've got a bit of a glitch transition happening there. So it's cool as it is, but to sell that effect a bit more, we're gonna go in and use an effect called turbulent displace drag that onto the adjustment layer and right here as you can see it starts warping the footage so what you want to do is make sure it's on horizontal displacement and then mess around with the settings to get the look you're after i'm going for a horizontal displacement just so it gives me that glitch effect and for this one you don't even have to animate anything you just create the look you want and because the offset effect is creating that movement so you get something like this now the next one you'd be surprised to see in big budget films like star wars I'm simply going to go to my effects and use a linear wipe. So I'm going to drop that onto the footage that's up top. Let's make sure these overlay. And I'm simply going to animate this footage right here. As you can see, if I use a transition completion, that goes just from left to right. But if I use the wipe angle, that angles it a bit more. We're just going to key from a transition completion. I'm going to move it about 15 frames and make sure that is on 100%. So you get this right here. But in Star Wars, they've got heavy feather there. So you get something like this. 
The next one is using the track mat key. Now, Josh has done a whole video on this and he's done an excellent job, so check that one out. For this one right here, I'm using this smoke overlay. And basically what track mat key is, it only lets the video appear in those white bits. So we're gonna have that smoky texture all around it. Simply, I'm just gonna take that clip, drag it on top of this clip right here. And on the actual footage, I'm gonna add a track mat key effect. Go to your effects control, go under matte. I'm gonna select video two, cause that's where the actual smoky footage is. And under composite using, I'm gonna go into Luma. And as you can see, it creates that super cool effect. I'm gonna make a cut right there. And on the rest of the footage, I'm just gonna turn the track mat key off. I'm just gonna add a cross dissolve on the first piece of footage. And this is what you get. So those are six transitions you can use in your videos. I hope you guys learned something new today. Check out the Envato Elements link in the description. They're offering their first month for $9, which is ridiculous. I use them all the time. Highly encourage you to check that out. Let's check out some comments. Mr. Mandos, can't wait to try all this. I, I love that. I love it when people watch the videos and they're like, oh, I'll give that a go. Aaron H, nice and trying this today. Straight fire. Thanks, mate. <laughs> That's really encouraging. Riz Riz says, this is awesome. And then a bunch of emojis. Skyjack Morgan, love this. Untapped Hip Hop TV, another banger. Really appreciate you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on that bell because we drop videos quite a lot. If you got any suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comments. If you want to say hi to me personally, Dave the Greco is my IG handle. Till next time, everybody. Take care. Peace.